welcome back on the channel. Uh, Daily's birthday's coming up. So we're off to Prague, Czechoslovakia. We're flying from Bristol Airport and that's where we're heading now. Speak to the airport guys. Yes guys, so we're at the airport now, Bristol Airport. It's Thursday the 5th of January 2023. So we go to Prague in Czechoslovakia for Haley's birthday. Uh, we're going for four days. Yeah, four days we are we going for. So we speak to you when we're at the other side. Over and out. Thank. Right guys, Ailey's gone to the toilet now. So it gives me a chance to tell you the birthday surprise I got for out in Prague. I'm taking her to see where, Hy where Reinhard Heydrich was assassinated. <laughs> gonna kill me boys so we've arrived at Prague one hour 40 minutes brilliant This is a room, guys. It's very bit of lighting at the moment, we have to figure, figure it out. It's a show in the bedroom. There goes the bedroom. I'll show you on a minute guys, okay? Happy birthday, love. Cheers, my dears. Don't look who they've left us. What's not a bad day? Smell it. Oh, it's lovely, isn't it? It must be like a delicacy. Complimentary cake, so. I don't know what they are. I'll try it. No, you try it first. No, go on. Clock. Right, so we're going down the old town now. It's our first night. This is about 1800 hours. Uh, we're very lucky because the Christmas market is here for another two nights. So we're heading down there now.
so we go into um to an Irish bar now straight ahead look and we'll probably go back to the hotel <laughs> <laughs> Morning guys, we're on day two. Um, we've just walked over to um, outside of the town and we've been to two army and navy stores. Um, the first one wasn't military surplus, it was all brand new stuff. And the second one we came to didn't sell flecked on. Now we don't know if it's because they're offended or what, but we're heading out to Lennon's Wall. We get some footage of, uh, of that too now next. We made it to the Irish bar, a different one tonight this time. Look at that guys. What's you call the lampshade? Jemison's. So we just taken her now into the ghost museum. It's 170 corona per adult, so these are the tickets. Where? Um, in the Ghosts and Legends Museum. It works out if you're working in new roads, about eight euro or out of the UK, you look at about seven quid. We would like to know what you look like if you're a ghost. Yeah, go on then. Ugly, probably ugly, get. Some of you just got here. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we're on uh, the Charles Bridge now.
Apparently that gives you good luck. So now we're in the sex museum. I'll show you what I can. What is that? Sex bomb. <laughs> <laughs> so the price per person in the sex museum is 300 kronas. And this here is a erotic device. Have a read of this, guys. It's worked by a foot pedal. You got I even got a gym in here. See where Slipknot got the ideas from? say nothing but this one guys you can uh, come to your own conclusion So we've stopped off for some lunch now, something light and something traditional. So I've got the spicy sausage and then he's got the tomato and basil soup. Morning guys, day three, Saturday morning. Um, I'm standing below the powder tower. Um, it's Haley's birthday tomorrow, so for today we are going somewhere special. <laughs> I'm laughing. Um, we're going somewhere special. We're going on the World War II and Anthropoid operation with the 
is also an underground bunker we'll be going in. Uh, we noticed a few things since we've been out there. Just some advice, basically. So I'll start off with the ladies. Everywhere is cobbled streets, okay? So high heels are no go. Wear something flat. Public toilets, they're not free, you've got to pay. Um, what else do I know? Oh yeah. When you go to a restaurant, guys, um, they will put bread on the table, okay? Same as back home, back in Britain, if you order, they just automatically put it on the table here and they'll charge you for it, okay? If you're ordering a glass of wine, make sure you tell them a small wine or whatever, because they will automatically put a double large line in, uh, wine in. Okay, if there's anything else I can think of today, I'll update you. See you soon. Of course, a lot of resistance started, both here in the protectorate and also in the exile. So for something about the exile water, we see totally different architecture, right? In the old town, it was more about like Renaissance, Baroque architecture. Here we are talking about the late 19th, beginning of the 20th century. This was always the wealth. Of course, we are in the old town. We are actually now in one of the oldest buildings of Prague, right? Um, originally, the level of the city was much lower. Actually, this was the original level of the city, right? Much lower, closer to the river, right? We are in the old town. The town used to get flooded very often. So in the 13th century, and that's basically why we are here downstairs, in the 13th century, people of Prague, because of the floods, they, this is what makes Prague underground quite unique. Every big European city has some underground areas, right? Tunnels, catacombs, Prague as well. But Prague underground is quite unique because in the 13th century, people of Prague filled the streets with dirt and waste, and they rose up artificially the level of the whole city for between two to eight meters. That's why today we have from the original ground floors the basement. So here we have windows, right? These used to be windows of the house, right? So today basically the level of Prague is much higher than the original town in the 10th, 11th, 12th century. This building was actually built at the beginning of the 12th century. The first written evidence we have from 1108 about this particular place, right? So we don't really know how old it is, but the first written evidence we have from 1108. Here because of course all, it was all around the media so mm -hmm. it's important to say the soldiers knew of course that Heydrich died. Now right after the 27th of May the attack of the car huge investigation began of course the Nazis wanted to find the two soldiers who attacked the car and at the end really killed the protector but if you remember I told you it was all planned in London in the UK right by the exile government the exile army the MI6 right the commandos so there was very few people here in the protectorate who knew about the operation who knew about Gabchik and Kubish and the anthropoid operation right so even the secret police here couldn't find any information leading to the two soldiers because there was very little connection with the locals that's why six days after the death of the protector, so the 10th of June 1942, the Nazis desperately committed the worst and also the best known war crime committed in the protectorate during the whole war. 10th of June 42, in the early morning, SS soldiers were sent to a small village called Lidice, approximately 20 kilometers to the west from here. And in the morning, the SS soldiers directly shot all 173 men older than 15, and all the women and children were taken to concentration camps. Then the village was completely destroyed, leveled, so it's not there. So this is a church where the seven paratroopers get out. No, no, against the answer, 800 we are checks, we never give up. SS. That's what you will see
In this Orthodox Church of St. Cyril and Methodius died for our freedom, the 18th of June 1942, the National Revengers, members of the Czechoslovak Exile Army, Opalka Gavčíku, Bišvalčík, Bublík, Hrubí and Schwarz, Bishop Goraz, the Bishop of the Orthodox Church, who was also executed, Father Petrček, the priest of the church, who was bringing them the supplies, and all other Czech patriots who were hiding them and were executed. Let them be remembered forever. Every 18th of June, here in this place, is a huge ceremony. Military, not political. Military. This was a military operation. There were soldiers. It's a military museum. So usually they close the street. There is a parade. It's a big thing. Military event. The politicians remember the, or celebrate the 8th of May, by the end of the war, but the Czech and Slovak militaries, armies, they remember the 18th of June. So last evening anyway guys and we've had some free drinks given to us by the hotel doing the vlog here so we've come inside this what's it called dome, dome. Igloo. igloo sorry yeah igloo it's called an igloo it's on the premises it's in, actually inside the hotel It's just a beer garden then on the outside. So we've had two complimentary drinks. Very kind. So we're on our final morning. And it's uh, Hayley's actual birthday now today. So we're just gonna do a bit of shopping uh, around the city. Um, our hotel inside by Malia, absolutely superb. Can't recommend enough. Absolutely brilliant from the food to everything else. Outstanding. So here's the shopping high street, pretty much like anyone, any, uh, anyone in any city, you know, it's outstanding, outstanding. Steel. Pretty gorgeous. Ah. They made just 1884 pieces every year. Right guys, so the giveaway in this vlog is a cigar and a cigar cutter. As you can see behind me, I'm in the cigar store. I haven't scrimped at all guys, I've uh, I've paid quite a lot of money for the scarf you for one of your special occasions whatever it may be so all you need to do is share this video put down in the comments down below where you've shared it good luck everyone <laughs>